Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to no hit all Elden Ring boss fights using the Bloodhounds Fang. First of all, I'm going to show you my build. These are the stats that I am using. Remember that I am prioritizing the damage, that's why I have a low value on Vigor. But if you want, you can level up as much as you need. The recommended value is 40. As you can see, I have a very high value of Endurance. That's mainly because I like to play so aggressive and I need to have enough Endurance. But as I said before, you can tweak the stats as much as you want as long as you keep the strength and dexterity values over 60 or my personal recommendation if you want to balance your stat is to keep a strength at 40 and dexterity on 60 that will give you a very powerful build and you will have enough points to put on vigor and endurance now this is the equipment i am using of course the bloodhounds fang on plus 10 that will scale mainly with strength and dexterity specifically with dexterity this weapon only deals physical damage so our buffs have to be buffs that benefits the physical damage we are not going to use Howl of Shabriri or Golden Bow. You can use it, they are very easy to get, but they require faith. So think about it. That's why I decided to use in this specific build the Commander Standard that will boost our damage by 30% if I am correct, about 30 seconds. And the Blood Bowl Aromatic that will boost our damage by 30% for one entire minute. The particular thing with these two buffs is that are dedicated to physical damage. They are not going to buff magic or fire affinities. That's why many people don't use them, because they are dedicated specifically to physical damage. Now, I know that Blood Bowl Aromatic is quite complicated to farm, to, to craft, I mean, but you can use Hall of Shabriri. It's pretty similar, but re remember that Hall of Shabriri requires fate, so it's up to you guys. Now, the armor that I am using is a modified version of the leather set. You can find it on Nexus Mod, and I will leave the link in the description. I am using the following talismans, the Shard of Alexander, the Rodent Wings or Insignia, and the Axe Talismans. You can copy these three, but in the case of the Red Feathered Branch Sword, you can switch it for the Ritual Sword Talisman if you are going to play with your full HP bar. I understand you guys, I know that you like to play more chill, but I like to play with a little bit of risk and with a high amount of damage. That's why I play with the Red Feathered Brancher, because it boosts my damage a little bit more than the Ritual Sword Talisman. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Spike Crack Tear and the Stone Barb Crack Tear. This way, we are going to get a high benefit from the heavy attacks, and we are going to break the stance of the enemies easier when using the skill of this weapon, which deals a tremendous amount of stun damage. And another items that you can use in some boss fights are the Pickle Turtleneck and the Sleep Pot. These items are quite easy to craft and they help a lot in certain boss fights. Uh, I use a lot the Pickle Turtle Net to get a fast recovery of stamina and it's very easy to craft so I, I use it almost every time. And the Sleep Pots, I use them only in certain boss fights to, to control the fight as I wish. That way I will obtain the result that I planned into my head if that makes any sense. So yeah guys, that's the build! And now without anything further to say, let's begin with the video. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Easy, boys. It was like three seconds? Nah, it, la it was like five seconds, right? Yeah. Nice. Just at the right time, boys. <laughs> Let's go. That was the timing. <laughs> that was the timing I was I was looking for, bro. Let's go. That's a nice one, boys. Let's go. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Very cool. <laughs> 
Let's go, boys. Did you see that, man? Wow. That's crazy. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Dude, this thing is broken. It deals only physical damage, but it's quite powerful, bro. Just physical damage, just physical boobs, and it's wild. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I thought I was dead right there, man. I really thought I was dead here, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Holy bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was insane, baby. <laughs> That's some damage. That's <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I told you guys, he's weak to slash damage, so yeah, it got destroyed. I don't like when he touched that. It's like, hey, you're cheating, bro. Hey, you fall asleep down there, bro. Nice. They're separate to each other, but I'll take it. Let's see if this time I got it. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> it was too early the last time, dude. <laughs> Come on, Plassy, do your thing. Yeah, that's your thing, bro. Let's see if I can dodge that at this attack. Sometimes I, I miss. I, 
I dodged it. I dodged it. Successful. I can hit once, uh, at least, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go, boys. Nice. Nice. <laughs> what is that damage, bro? What? Wow. Nice. It was actually a fight, bro. <laughs> Bing, I was so lucky. <laughs> Let's go, bro. I don't know why I did not break the stance of this dude, but it's done. That's a nice fight. That's a last boss fight, bro. Cool, man. He got destroyed. Let's go, boys. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. I'm alive by luck, bro. How am I? I'm, how am I still alive, bro? Oh, nice, dude. <laughs> This is going well, guys. Going very well. Run, baby. Nice. <laughs> it's not my best fight, but I just want to, to accomplish the challenge on this one. I'm sorry, guys. 
I think we can do it a lot better, but I'm not sure about it. Was dairy, man. Nice, boys. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a nice one. I like this one. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, this guy took a long, a very long time to defeat, bro. Wow. <laughs> nice. It's done. It was a very cool one. It was clean.
Dude, this fight was so horrible, bro, but I'm done with it. <laughs> Man, the AI of Millennial against this weapon is so poor, bro. It's horrible. And that's it, guys. We have successfully completed the challenge. And now the important thing to say is that the Bloodhounds fan is actually very broken, but according to my playstyle, is a little bit uh, weird in certain boss fights like in this one. Or Millennial fight is really, really... Uh, strange how Malenia's AI behaves against this weapon so in this specific fight I don't like it too much and in a few two other fights I didn't like it a lot but in general the weapon is fantastic and I hope you have enjoyed this video guys remember to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this I hope you are having a fantastic day my name is Carlos and I will see you in the next one